All right, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to take our SketchUp models and bring them into Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine, as many of you know, is one of the leading game engines in the world, but it's also becoming a tool that you can use in order to create real-time renderings from your models. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Unreal Engine is available 100% for free to download. So you can download it by going to unrealengine.com and clicking on the download button in the upper right hand corner. And so there's a note on this page showing you what the cost is and more information about this. So Unreal Engine is free to use for things like films and architecture and other things like that. There is a royalty if you create and sell games, but for most of my audience, you're not going to have to worry about that, at least on this channel. So this also gives you access to all the features, the mega scans library, um, everything is available for free. Now I will note, you should probably pay attention to your system requirements over here to make sure that your system can actually run this. Uh, there's more information right here, but the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download the Epic Games Launcher to your computer. So you can click on this button right here to download the launcher. And what that's going to do is that's going to download a file that you can open up. You can access Unreal Engine through that launcher. All right, so once you get the Epic Games Launcher installed, you want to go down to the Unreal Engine tab and you want to go to the Library tab right here. And there's going to be an option here for engine versions. You can click on the plus button and then you can click this drop down to find a version and download to your computer. And so in this case, you want to make sure that you download Unreal Engine version five. That's the newest version and it works a little different than the older version. So make sure you're working on um, version five or above for this tutorial. And so then once you've done that, you can click on the button right here to launch Unreal Engine. And what that's going to do is that's going to pop up a window that looks like this. It's going to be your project browser. And this is going to contain information for the different kinds of things that you can create inside of the engine, right? So there's game options, there's recent projects, if you're working with any of those. Um, there's a bunch of different presets in here for different things. You can kind of click through these. If you're doing architectural visualization, um, creating an ArcVis project can be a good way to kind of like take a look at some of the settings and that kind Kind of thing. In this case, we want to create a blank project right here, and then you're going to set your project location and you're going to name it. So in this case, I'm just going to name this SketchUp Import. And notice how you can't include a space in here. So I'm going to call it SketchUp Import one word. And then I'm going to click on the option to create. And so what it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to create an Unreal Engine project. And this can actually take a little while. So um, just be patient while it's actually creating the project. Unreal Engine can take a while to load um, because there's a lot of stuff getting like compiled and loaded in and that kind of thing. Um, so just be aware of that, that depending on your computer speed, this may take a minute before you can actually get into the engine itself. All right. And so after a while, um, you're going to get a window that looks something like this. You may get a window down here that says project file is out of date. Would you like to update? update it. Usually I just click on yes and it's going to go through and update this. Um, it doesn't really seem to take very long, um, but yeah, I usually do that. And so this is going to work somewhat similar to flying around in SketchUp, but also somewhat not, right? In the sense that you have this central area in here, which is your 3D viewport that you're going to work in. You've got these different things that are in here that you can move around. So like, for example, you've got this camera that um, sets up what's actually shown um, in your camera X you've got other things in here like lighting and other things like that. So you've got all these objects in here and then you can also navigate around the 3D space. And usually the way that you do this is you wanna hold down the right mouse button. So if you hold down the right mouse button and click and drag, you can look around and then you can use the W, A, S, and D keys to move around and then the Q and E keys to move up and down. So very similar to how actual game engines work. Note that once you let up on your mouse like this, that's no longer going to work. So you wanna hold that right mouse button down so that you can navigate inside of Unreal Engine. We can talk more about this in the future if there's more interest, but for now, let's talk about how to import a SketchUp model. All right, so we're gonna download a model from Taz 1985 and try to bring it into Unreal Engine. So this is the Genie house that we can bring in. And I'm just gonna download this into SketchUp from the 3D warehouse. Note that you do have to be in the pro version of SketchUp in order for this to work. Um, I don't think there's a way for Datasmith to bring things into Unreal Engine from the free version, but I haven't spent a ton of time researching that. So we've got this uh, model right here, right? And what we need to do is we need to export this to Unreal Engine. In order to bring in models from SketchUp into Unreal Engine, you need to install an extension for SketchUp. And so you can find this extension 
by going to this page. Um, I'll link to it in the notes down below, but it's basically unrealengine.com, your region, and then Datasmith and plugins. And what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down and you wanna find the Datasmith SketchUp Pro exporter. And so in this case, we're gonna use the one um, for SketchUp Pro. Um, I'm gonna use the one for Windows. So you just wanna download this exporter right here and what that's going to do is that's going to download an installer file that you can use in order to install this and so what you want to do is you want to run the exporter file that's downloaded and then open up sketchup and when you do that there should be an extension in SketchUp called Datasmith. Datasmith is basically the tool that Unreal Engine uses to get data from external programs into Unreal Engine. So we're gonna use this in order to export to Unreal Engine. So make sure that you've installed that in SketchUp, and then we're gonna jump back into Unreal Engine. And so what we need to do is we need to take our model and we need to import it into Unreal Engine. So to do that, we're gonna click on this box right here for quickly add to the project. And again, note that I am in version 5.0. If you're in any of the four versions, this is gonna look completely different. So make sure you're working in 5.0. But we're gonna click on this button right here, and then we're gonna scroll down and notice how there are cool things that we can download, like things from Quixel, but we wanna go to Datasmith. And in this particular situation, we wanna click on Direct Link import. That's going to go find anything that's running that has a Datasmith exporter inside of it that's currently active. Well, in this case, it's finding that SketchUp model. So you want to make sure again that that extension is enabled. And so one thing I've found is I needed to go into SketchUp and I needed to toggle on this toggle direct link auto sync in order for this to actually bring this in. So um, I clicked on this button right here and then I went back into Unreal Engine. And now when I did this and I did a direct link import, and selected my model, it's gonna give me an option for location for importing our content. And so that's basically asking where should we put the files for this particular object. And so in this case, you can put it in either one of these or you can create your own folder. So I might right click in here and click on new folder and I'm just gonna call this SketchUp import. And you can really put these wherever you want, but in this case, now I have a folder for them. I'm just gonna click on this and I'm gonna click on OK. And then it's gonna ask me a few things about what I wanna bring in. Like, do I wanna bring in geometry, lights, cameras, all those different things. In this case, I'm gonna select yes. And I'm not really gonna mess with the advanced stuff. For right now, I'm just gonna click on import. And so this is gonna take the data from your SketchUp model and import it into Unreal Engine. And so this has now been brought into Unreal Engine and you can come in here and you can make adjustments to different things if you decide that you wanna do that. And so we can fly around our model using the W, A, S, and D keys. You can also do things like adjusting the lighting that's built into this scene. So if we scroll up and we wanna go look at like the sun sky object right here. So that's the sun sky that's casting light in your scene right now. Well, what you can do, and I'm gonna zoom out a little bit just so you can see this, is you can adjust the ro rotation and location of that sun by selecting the sun and sky and adjusting things like the month. You can adjust the day as well as the time. And so notice when you do that, your lighting is going to update in here as you do that. So um, it's a pretty powerful way to visualize your lighting and other things like that. You can also do things like using the camera so if I click on the camera right here, notice how this camera is going to show us different things, right? And this is an object that we can actually move around. So we can adjust things like the rotation. So if I wanted this to like pitch up or something like that, we can use this to create like fly through animations and other things um, using things that are inside of this scene. And so another thing you can do is you can also go into the content folder. And we were in the SketchUp import, but I also have a starter content folder that gets brought in that contains things like different pre-built materials as well. So let's say for example, that we wanted to apply a different wood material to this object right here. And so I could either click and drag this wood material onto this object right here, or I could also take the wood material and drag it on top of an object over here in order to replace it. So those are the materials that are applied to an object inside of your scene. So you can use those starter materials in order to really kind of set up the way things are going to look. So another great example is, let's say that you wanted to replace this with more of a um, Unreal Engine style grass material. You can drag that grass material on top of this as well. So there's other things you can bring in 
as well. So things like uh, different props. So if you go into the props folder, props is just another word for assets that you can bring in. So for example, it's got a couple built-in things like rocks, or if I wanted to bring in like this chair or something like that, I can drop that into my scene as well. Um, and those are just gonna work as objects that you move around. And then finally, let's say that you wanted to export an image from Unreal Engine. And there's a ton of stuff we would wanna do in order to set this up before we uh, finalize that. But let's say that we wanted to export some image in here. Well, what you would do is you would set up your camera so you can adjust things like your lens settings, other things like that. So notice how the wider focal length is gonna give you more of a view in here. So your smaller focal length is gonna give you a lower field of view in here. All right, so now real quick, I'm gonna show you how to export a rendered image from Unreal Engine. I have no clue why they've made it this complicated and hopefully they'll make it less complicated in the future. But if you do wanna take an image, usually what you're gonna do is you're gonna use a camera like this one to get the view that you're looking for. One thing that might be helpful with this is you can right click on it and you can go into pilot mode. And so when you go into pilot mode, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to actually like move around and drive the camera. So whatever you want your camera to see, you can set this up so that it actually sees that in the view. And then once you're done, you can click on the button right here to stop piloting the actor. But basically what I've done is I've set up this camera so that it um, sees what I want to render. You can create multiple different cameras other things like that. But now what you have to do is you have to go down into this, the import folder or wherever you want to put this and you need to add a level sequence. So in this case, this is going to be something that you find inside of animation and you want to go down to level sequence. And again, no clue why there's not just a button that will allow you to render things, probably because this is more of a game engine. But what you do from there is you create that level sequence, and then I'm just gonna double click on it, and I'm gonna add my camera to this track. So in this case, it's gonna be track, actor to sequencer, add cine camera, actor. Okay, and so this is really set up to do more animations, right, over this number of frames. Well, in this case, we don't necessarily want that. We just wanna click this and drag it back to like zero frames or one frame right here, because we just want a singular frame exported. And then I'm just gonna right click and I'm going to, under edit, do trim section right. So it's gonna trim everything to the right of this. So now what I've done is I've created basically a one frame animation right here. Um, so I only have one frame of that camera in whatever location I select, right? And then once you're done with that, then you can save it and you can go up to Window, Cinematics, Movie, Render, Queue. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna allow you to click on this drop down and pick that level sequence and it's gonna let you save it as an image to this folder. So usually I click on this folder so that it opens up, but then I click on the button for render local. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's going to render out images based on um, your camera location. Well, in this case, right, because I set this to like zero frames, if I go into that folder, it just exported one image like this. So this is what your image is going to look like coming out of Unreal Engine. And obviously there's a ton of stuff I need to fix in here and update from a material standpoint, but that's a general idea of how you can import something from SketchUp and then create your first rendering inside of Unreal Engine. All right, so I'd love to hear from you. Do you wanna see more Unreal Engine tutorials on SketchUp to Unreal Engine? It's a little bit complicated, but at the same time, the upside is really high. So we may talk about this more if there's more interest. So leave a comment Comment below and let me know. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do that. Help me beat Aaron in our competition. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.